What I want to do is I want to know how you learn. A vital step for anyone beginning to teach a dyslexic learner is to work out how their student learns best. Each learner is different. The teacher should determine the best strategies for that learner and plan their lessons and resources accordingly. I start with the premise that all children are fantastic learners. It's just that sometimes the way they're taught doesn't match the way they learn. If you're planning a teaching program, the very first thing you need to know is how your learner learns. Because otherwise you spend an awful lot of time wasting your time. Even very, very young children are able to tell you how they learn. You have to sometimes dig it out of them a bit. You have to use further questioning. You have to observe really carefully what they're doing when they're talking to you. So it may be that they're describing learning letters and they're doing an action when they're describing remembering how to learn that letter. And then you know that doing an action is part of what's important for them when they're learning. It's a conversation, and you can do it at any age. You do it. Um, you can do it with adults. You can do it with secondary. You can do it with top primary. But I have done it with children as young as five. What What do you like doing outside school? Do you have a hobby or something you like doing? Okay. Colouring. Oh, colouring is that one of your favourite things? Oh, that's a fun thing to do. In looking for clues as to how the child learns, the teacher might consider visual memory, such as colours or shapes auditory memory, voices, rhythms or music, video memory, a visual recall of an event, motor memory, recall of making, doing or touching something. The teacher should look for three different memory strengths and should then try to use them together. What can you remember about it? They have to um, keep it on the lines. On the lines, very good. Any individual child will have a range of memory strengths that work for them. They might have seven or eight different types of ways of learning that work for them. What you're ultimately aiming for is that the children understand their learning strengths so well that they can take any piece of information that they're taught and they can translate it into a way of remembering that uses their learning strengths and their memory strengths. It starts from a belief in the individual that they're going to be able to learn, that they are good learners, and that, that what you're doing really is unlocking the key. Did you sound it? Did you say it inside your head? Did you say those sounds are they right there? Okay. To recap the main points of being able to establish how your learner learns. Ask about a time when learning went well. Ask what the learner feels made it go well. Look for clues as to what memory strengths helped the learner. Use three memory strengths together for any one teaching point.